He's cool, but crude. Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Dream X Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raphael. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have a nice shot of Raphael, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. His name is Raphael. Raphael? I don't know. One six scale collectible action figure Nickelodeon on this side of the box we just have a red stripe and his name red stripe and his name top of the box nothing bottom of the box nothing on the back of the box warning please don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you and you have the Ninja Turtles logo again and when we remove the slip cover you just have the Ninja Turtles logo done in silver nothing on the back and that's basically it for the packaging so moving right along, here we have our next turtle in this line of Dream X Ninja Turtle figures. We have Raphael, and he is pretty cool, much like Leonardo. So let's get in close here, so we can take a look, not at his throat, but at his head scope. Grrr, he's got that <laughs> just full on grrr, face going on. But uh, again, very nicely done, nicely detailed. Got the nice red bandana going on. Got his lumpy head. <laughs> And you got bandana here, which just like on Leonardo, totally poseable, which is very cool. You can just have it just flowing in the breeze. And that's awesome. I love that. I love that. That's a very cool feature. And again, the body itself is just very nicely done, very nicely detailed. Um, they all do use the same body. So this is the same exact body that's on Leonardo. This is the same exact body that is on Donatello and Michelangelo. They all use the same body. The only difference is just the head sculpt and the letter on their belt buckle. That's the only molding differences with these figures. Um, other than that, the bodies are all the same. So everything you're seeing here, you've seen on Leonardo and you will see on the next two turtles. But still, um, incredibly detailed. I mean, they look great though. Despite the fact that they are all using the same mold, it still looks amazing. And of course, you got the R right there for Rafael. And you got the red elbow pads. This, the pad itself is done in plastic and this section is actually an elastic material, which is nice. And you have the nice uh, wrist bands, which again, are a nice material. And going down the body here, again, like tremendous detail on the musculature. Like, look, look at those quads. Look at those quads. I know I said that with Leonardo, but look at those quads. I mean, that, yo. Anyway, <laughs> and the knee pads. And you got the ankles wrapped up here, or his calves rather, wrapped up again in material that's not paint or plastic, that's actually is like material wrapped around his calf there, and you can see it's all dinged up and whatnot, and his tears, his big old toenails. On the back of the figure, again lots of detail, got the big shell, which again is incredibly detailed, just like on Leonardo, because it's the same shell as Leonardo's, so... <laughs> There you go. And of course you have the faux leather belt right here, which is quite nice. And yeah, so articulation wise, uh, the neck is on a ball joint. You can get some good wiggly waggly wiggly waggly. You can look up, you can look down, you can do a full 360 with that head. The arms can do a full 360. They can go in and out that far. And again, this joint, just like a Leonardo, this joint is quite stiff. Uh, you do have an elbow bend, which again, that's as far as you're going to go. I wish that at least it bent 90 degrees. That's very unfortunate that the elbow movement is that limited. Uh, you do have a swivel at the elbow. You do have a wrist swivel and if you can move the wristband here. You can see there is a hinge there as well. So you can have that hand kind of going anywhere you want, depending on how you have that wrist oriented. Uh, your legs can move forward that far, backward that far in this bottom piece of the shell is a very soft plastic, so rubbery material there. So we'll move out of the way. Outward movement, you'll get that far. You do have a thigh swivel, knee joints. Again, pretty limited, that's all you're gonna get. I wish, you know, just like with the elbows, I wish you at least got 90 degrees there, but no. And the feet, they can move up a little bit, move down some. You do have rotation. Rotation as well. You do have rotation at the knee as well, which I think I forgot to mention on Leonardo, but you can swivel at the knee and you can swivel the foot. That's a pretty tight joint, but you can do that. And his toes are poseable. You'll wiggle them up and down. 
So there you go for the articulation. Again, not super poseable. I wish there was a little more range of movement in those joints, but oh well, it is what it is. Now let's run through the accessories. Of course, he does include a display base, which is the same base that came with Leonardo and Shredder. Just simple black base and just snaps right on. You got the adjustable cradle and you have the nameplate right there that says Raphael. And voila, there is your stand for your figure if you want to use it. He does also include his own two slices of pizza right here. Once again, they're okay, and they have that burnt crust look to them, which I'm not a fan of. I don't like my, I don't like my crust burnt, but anyway. He has his own two slices of pizza. And one other accessory that he does include that goes with this is he has a, uh, he comes with a pizza box. A little pizza box. Now, it does come packaged, like, totally flattened down. You do have to fold it up, um, which isn't hard to do. And you can see the pizza there with the lightning bolt. Um, apparently, this is for the uh, eventual... Ninja Turtles Power Rangers crossover. Hey, it could happen. You don't know. And you can open up the box here and there's even some tissue paper that you can put in here. So you can take Raphael's two slices and you can take the two slices that came with Leonardo and we already got half a pizza going on there. So there you go. <laughs> I think that's cute. So you got a pizza box for your slices of pizza there. I like that. That's cute. He does, of course, include his weapons, his size, and they are made of metal, which is very nice. You can see, very cool. And again, you got that red fabric wrapped around the handle there. Very nice and shiny. Um, not really that pointy, but still, I would exercise a bit of caution, nonetheless. And, of course, he can hold his size. Let's get those into his hands. Luckily, his fingers are very flexible, as you can see. Get, get in there. Get you can have him holding his size. You can have him holding his other side. Say! You see yourself doing something and your body reacts and does it like so. Say! <laughs> Do you remember what movie that's from? Post in the comments. Yeah, you get a little bit of movie trivia. You get a little bit of movie trivia here on M Ghost Channel. But anyway, you can hold his size right there. Which is pretty cool. Um, you do also have an alternate way for him to hold the size if you want. Because you can see his fingers are spread open right there. Specifically for this reason, which you can actually feed the blade through his fingers like that. And if you just get his thumb around here, you can actually have him. It takes a bit of doing, but it's totally doable. Come on. If you get that under that finger. Come on. I've done this before. I've done it before. I will do it again. There we go. Nope. No, we don't. Come on. Come on. There we go. And you can have him holding the sigh like that if you wish, which is pretty cool. So you got options there. So I dig that. You do also get a communicator for him, which is just like the one that came with Leonardo with that shell design and the rubbery antenna, and you can open it up, and this is pretty much just like Leonardo's. I mean, it doesn't really... kind of hard to get open, and sometimes these pieces can just fall off because they don't really hold on too well. Get in there. There you go. It's the same as Leonardo's. A little screen there with April O'Neil. Come in, April! Come in! Right. So you got that going on. He includes the grappling hook, again with that shell design, and the grappling hook itself is done in a soft plastic, done in silver, with the very, 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 very long string. Again, I'm not going to extend this all the way, but when you have this fully extended, you have about four and a half feet of string, so you get a lot here, so. <laughs> you got that going on. And it does have the little hook here, so if you want to, you can hook that onto his belt, if you wish. Uh, you do also get the large pouch right here, which is done in that faux leather. little Velcro enclosure. And if you want, you can take your communicator here. Just close that up like that, and the communicator fits right in there. Nice and snug-like. And again, you got the hook right there. You can hook that onto his belt, if you wish. And he does include the thinner pouch here, which again, that's faux leather with the Velcro enclosure, like that. 
Again, you can put something in there. I don't know what's, but hey, you can put something in there. And again, hook that onto his belt if you wish. He does include also three shurikens, which are done in metal. So you got three of those. And he does also come with these holsters for his size. And you can take these and hook these onto his belt and we'll show off how these work. So I'll just get this hooked onto one side. And get this one hooked on the other side, like that. And now, of course, we have to take the size out of his hands after I worked so hard to get this in his hand. Now I have to pry it out. Come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah. There you go. He does have a good grip on it, though, I will say that. Let's take the other one out here. And you just take the size and just slide the blades in there, like that. And... You can have his size stored on him, which is pretty cool. I dig that. So, yeah, I got that going on right there. You do also get alternate hands. Now, all of these alternate hands are the same exact alternate hands that came with Leonardo. So, we've seen these before. You got the two closed fists right there. You got the one kind of splayed open hand right there. You get this hand right here, which has that little notch in between the fingers, which I'm assuming is for the shurikens. You can have that going on. I think that's what that's for. Again, don't know. These figures don't come with any kind of instructions, so you just have to kind of guess. Um, you have this hand right here, which again, it just looks like he's giving a thumbs up. I don't know if this... Maybe this is for the shuriken too, but I haven't been able to kind of get this wedged in to where it'll actually stay. So I'm not sure if this is meant to hold something or if it's just, hey, thumbs up. I, I don't know, but hey, he has that hand. If you want to use it for display. And he has this hand right here, which again, I assume is for the communicator. So we can get the communicator in there. All right, all right. And again, it'll probably fall apart while I'm doing it. There we go. Again, I, I, I think that's a communicator holding hand. Or this thing just doesn't stay together. This this needed to be done a bit better, but no. And I also think this might be a, a good pizza holding hand because he holds that nice and nice and secure. So that could be a pizza holding hand as well. Don't know, but hey, you can use it for something. And he does also include the alternate head. If you don't like just the plain white eyes and the face, you just get a just serious face here with the pupils painted in. And this is the same alternate head that came with Leonardo. They all have the same alternate head. The only difference is just the color of the bandana and the color of their eyes. But it's the same sculpt for all the turtles for this alternate head. But still, nicely done. You got the bandana again, which you can just pose however you wish. Which I very much enjoy. Probably more than I should. But <laughs> you got that. And you can swap the heads out very easily and just pop the head off. Just on a big post there. And you just put the new head on. Push that down, and there you go. Now he looks a little more serious there. So you can have that look going on, if you wish. Now the last accessory I do quite like, I got a kick out of this. He does come with, uh, with crossed arms. <laughs> yes, he has crossed arms, and they're just one solid piece. Um, and uh, unlike the elbow pads on the figure itself, these, uh, these straps here are just molded in. They're not that elastic material. It's all just solid molded plastic there. But uh, yeah, you can give him crossed arms. So we're going to show how this works. Now you do have to remove the size because you need room for the arms here. So what you're going to do is you're just going to basically just take his arms and just rip them off. And they pop off pretty easily. Come on, there we go. I mean, they hold in there securely, which is a good thing, so they won't just pop off on you if you look at them funny. But, just grab them, just pull them out, boop, there you go, and we've ripped his arms off. <laughs> and now, you just take these arms, and you just take one peg, and you just slide it in, and this will flex for you, so you don't have to worry about anything breaking. And you just bring that around, and just push those in, and there you go. Now he's got crossed arms. And with this head sculpt, you can kind of just have him looking like, really? Really? Like I just said, that's just, that's what that looks like to me. Just Raphael going, seriously? Seriously. <laughs> you, 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 you gotta be kidding me. I mean, really? Yeah, anyway, but there you go. I like that. It's, it's a neat display option. I do quite enjoy that, so. 
There you go. And for a comparison here, we will bring in the shredder. Just so you can see how they look together. Let's push this back a little bit here. There you go. So you can see how they look together. And here he is with his brother Leonardo. So you can see how they look together. They look good together. Very cool. So there you have that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Raphael. Again, very cool figure. I, I really do like these. Um, The one thing that may bug people is the fact that there are a lot of shared parts between the turtles. A lot of them just have the same parts. Like I said, they all have the same body. The only difference is just head and belt buckle. Um, they all come with these same uh, hands, the same pouches, the same communicator, the same two slices of pizza, um, the same grappling hook. I mean, a, there are a lot of shared pieces between all four turtles. So that may turn some people off because you're not getting a lot of unique items. I mean, obviously you're going to get their signature weapons. Uh, you know, the, the shurikens are different for all of them. And stuff like this with, you know, Raphael's crossed arms, which I think is pretty neat. Um, but yeah, like overall, they do share a lot of parts. But all in all, though, I do still think these figures are really well done. I think they're amazing, and I definitely am enjoying these very, very much. I mean, you know, I definitely do not regret spending the money on these, I think. Me, personally, I, f I think they're totally worth it. Whether they're worth it to you is totally up to you. It's your money. Me, personally, do not regret the purchase at all. I am very much enjoying these figures. I think they're very well done, in my opinion, anyway. So, there you go. So, if you would like this or any other Ninja Turtles toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Ninja Turtles playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Dream X Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Boom in your face! Aha! Finally we meet, Turtle! Now it's you. Yes, it is me! And now we will battle to the death! Yeah, you know what? I, I really don't feel like it, okay? What you want is irrelevant! You will face me! Look, I am not in the mood, okay? We can fight tomorrow! But it's... Well, it, well, what? 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 What time is good for you? I'll let you know. Alright, I'll, 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 I'll keep my phone close by. That was too easy.